<laughs> okay. Okay. So good evening. Well, yeah, for us it's evening, Jovi, right? Yes, that's correct. Yes. <laughs> and for you still afternoon, huh? Yeah. Yes, it's 2 p.m. here, yes. Okay. okay. Jovi, yes, go ahead and tell us what you do and what what your name is, um, the trademark name, all of that. Yes, sure. So um, my name is Jovi Singh and I'm a love guru. And basically what I do is I help people find love mm -hmm. that's from inside inside out and that's what I, that's what i help and support people and right now um i am speaking here right now from portugal in lisbon okay. um, yeah. very nice and so could you tell us a little bit of your like background story like why you decided to be um someone to help others with this uh, particular um issue if they if they have like a uh, issue with um, loving themselves or feeling that they're worthy yes so my story goes back actually to i would say um yeah during my childhood mm -hmm. as well as i was growing up so i i think like pretty much up to my last six years i think so that for the last six years until 2017 to um I used to be actually someone who was struggling quite a lot and um, yeah, I was constantly, you know, I was constantly looking for love. I was looking for everywhere validation. I didn't have the confidence. Uh, yeah. And I thought like, yeah, love is just something that, you know, when you meet someone, you meet the right one. That is what love is. Mm -hmm. And that's what I grew up with. And that's what all I believed. And it cost me a lot of issues in my life. Um, I was not in a comfortable place in my life. I was struggling and I didn't know what was, you know, what, what was the point of my life? Because all I, all I wanted to is, all I wanted to do is give love, mm. but I never find it, you know, in another person. Would, would you say that you had this sort of fairy tale uh, idea of love? Yes, yes, sort of fairy tale idea, but it's more like you know, um, as I grew, as I was growing up, all I could see is like, okay, in order to have love, you have to be with someone. You know, my parents, you know, they always said, yeah, you have to be with someone. My friends were always like, you have to be with someone, and I always wanted to find love, and I was always rejected. All the time, I was rejected to who I expressed my love, I was rejected, you know? And the, the part that when I was in, I was rejected. So that that was what I what my belief was, yeah. you know? Yeah, I can definitely, definitely understand that. Cause like when I grew up in my family, if you didn't have, like you're talking about that special someone, you were nothing. Mm. And so, yeah, I had the same thing, whereas, um, I felt like I had to have somebody in my life or I was nothing. And I was going to be a spinster. And spinster was like very low on the home toll of, um, of uh, value. And so in order to have value, I would have to have some significant person. And whenever I had that significant person, my life, I was miserable, you know, my life. And I was like, this is not working. So it took me to a, a lot to struggle through all that and find out that I didn't need someone in order to feel love or feel like I could love myself. I can do that totally on my own. Yeah, so what do you do today, Joby, that helps others um, see that? Um, what I do today is I, I walk them basically through, through a process which makes, yeah, um, which makes them connected with love, but coming from a place of you are already love, you are already love, and that is what connects people, what what attracts people to you, you know. Because I I've seen it in my life, like this is what transformed me. Once I found love within myself, you know, really found found love within myself. That's what I became like a magnet. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. I was just going to ask you know? so. 
what was the moment that you found yes. love? Yes. So my story is actually is is probably really interesting. It's probably really funny, but um yeah, I I go from a place of where I finally found love within myself. And then I was I was like a magnet of love. I am still a magnet of love. It's it's still then it's never ended. And then all of a sudden I yeah, I was attracting like I attracted love in my life, you know. I attracted the, the partner in my life and I thought she was the one, you know. Uh and and then we we were in a relationship. It was like it was a very strong relationship. Everything was connected. Everything was like connecting. Um but there were also some things where we didn't fit in. And so uh because of that and you know we we couldn't go ahead with our relationship being together. And you know, it's funny though, hey, like I connecting with myself and finding love within myself actually enabled me to find someone, to connect, to attract someone. And that was crazy. And I was going through a breakup and it was very, 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 very painful. And I couldn't understand what was going on. You know, I thought I did everything was was correct. I was right. And I actually I didn't even understand, like, how can you connect? How can you attract love in your life, even in a partner, whilst just doing all the work inside yourself that never made sense to me, you know? And then I started, I started to connect with myself deeper. I started to, instead of, you know, this is something maybe a little bit more advanced than self-love because I, yeah. you know, everyone talks, I heard this a lot of time. It, everyone talks about self-love. Yes, self-love can definitely help you. But there's a more advanced process. And that is you have to be loved yourself. And that is what happened to me. And um, I was, uh, we broke up and it brought me back to so many things, like so many fears and everything. So I was really lost. And all I, on, and then, uh, yeah, I was really lost. But then I knew that love is true. So I, instead of, just loving myself, I had to become love. And that's what it changed. I changed. I learned so much of myself where then afterwards I, I connected with, I actually, yeah, I became the magnet love, love. So now mm -hmm. everywhere I go, I shine, I shine with love because that's all I am, you know? And I have so many beautiful relationships with people. It's, it's amazing, you know? And that's why I can help people do the same because yeah, I mean, I I was completely nothing. I had no value, mm. but I, you know, I break through it because this is a, a very very powerful process that I also do when I help others and um, my client. Is I change, we change it. We go from pain to purpose because we also have. You already have the energy. You already have the capacity. We just change it. We just channel that energy to a different way. And we have, we all have that. And that's what I actually, what I did in my life. You know, awesome. I just changed from pain to purpose. And 10x the love, if you want to mm -hmm. say so, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, Giovi. And I got to see that, that shining moment when you were on the Tony Robbins challenge. And yes. you yes, you were just, oh, I mean, you were controlling that whole environment. You were just... <laughs> not the love and and then I saw you get the bonus and where you get to coach under them and and then you just took off like a rocket and I was like wow and I followed you ever since and I've seen you put together such a great group and um put together your meditation can you tell us about a little bit about your meditation that you did yes so I have a specific meditation we call it the seek love theta meditation and it brings you into the theta waves of, you know, when we go to sleep, just before we go to sleep, we we go in a in a theta state. Mm -hmm. So that is where we receive more, you know, because uh, and during our conscious hours, well, moment when when we are, you know, off bed, when we are wake up or we walk around, you know, we are so much connected 
to our heads, to our minds. Yeah. And the theta state, it's much more, you're connected much more to the receiving side. So that is where some even people call, they connect with God or a higher being or the universe. Okay. And so I created this meditation so to, uh, to help people connect with that state and actually even go deeper. So let's say you listen to the meditation. It's, it's also just a 10 minute meditation. It's not a very long, but it's, it's to connect you, you deeper with love so you can actually attract, become the attraction of love. Not just love, but the attraction of love. love. So you can actually magnify, you know? And yeah. it, it walks through a process. I actually work this also with, with my, this is what I use specifically with my clients that helps you to get them out of the blocks because yeah. we carry so many blocks, each one of us. Mm. And that's what we think, okay, we cannot move further. Rather than taking, you know, taking the blocks, seeing them and yeah. moving on them. Yes, exactly. So, yeah. so what kind of people do you help? Are those people that are looking for love or people that are in a relationship and want to improve their relationships? Yes. So I, yeah, so I work with people basically, yeah. Um, I work with, with people who are, are looking for love. Mm -hmm. And also for people who are already in a relationship and are looking for love. Because love is a never-ending process. You know, um, this is because this is very, very profound. And a lot of people don't notice this. It's your inside relationship equals your outside relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, this mm -hmm. is people, for example, in, in relationships, like they, their relationship with them is not so great. And because of that, it also affects the relationship they are in. So that is how I work with people who are in relationships. And um, people who are not in relationship are looking for love. You know, I go to the approach because a lot of people, I, I hear this when I go around and I share them, with, hey, I'm the love guru. And they're like, wow, hey, wow, can you get me a date and all of that? And, you know, things like that. So I, I don't work. I'm, and I always say to them, hey, like, I'm not a dating coach, right? I am... Uh, I'm a love coach, I'm a love guru. So I connect you. I make help you with the attraction process of helping you to find that love, like first within yourself and in a potential partner. Because it's love is an attraction. You know, it's not something that you find, it's something you attract. Right. Uh, exactly. And that's that's exactly what I work with, you know. Mm -hmm. That's great, um, Giovi, and uh, thank you for answering all our questions. And um, so, yeah, I, I even tried out your meditation and it works really good. And Erna and I are really big believers in meditation. And we just did a meditation the other night. And so where could our viewers find your meditation, Giovi? Yes, sure. So I um, I have a, actually a Facebook group, uh, which uh, where I give a lot of exclusive trainings and meditations. Um, and uh, the, the Facebook group is called Seek Love, Seek Love Within. And they can find me there or even they can connect with me on my Facebook. My, on Facebook. So that's Jovi Singh. That's G-I-O-V-I. And then it's S-I-N-G-H. So like Giovanni, not like I, a lot of people mispronounce my name they think it's only good so it's like giovanni um but jovi thing and then they could connect with me and if they need any information anything i'm happy to help i'm happy to serve that's my purpose and yeah that's where they can get more information cool well we'll put it in the in the description of the video okay. so that uh yeah sure people can can read it and then remind themselves of uh come well find you Find yes. Right. Well, yeah, I'm a, a little bit distracted at the moment, but um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, yeah, I, yeah, it's funny that you mentioned Giovanni because I just have got been talking to a, a guy named Giovanni, and I was thinking <laughs> yes. when I when I go to uh, present Giovi, I'm I don't want to say G Giovanni because it was in my head, and I didn't. Yes. Know. So proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the best way to remember my name. I always tell people, let's think of Giovanni, then you remember Joey. Yeah. 
I have no problem in remembering your name, Dovi. Um, so yeah, it's just it's a a name that kind of it actually does sing. It, your last name is Sing. Um, it just yes. Dovi Sing is like it just jumps off the the map. Um, so yeah, yeah. it just it goes with your personality. Um, just uh, you're just amazing. Your calm personality. I saw you, Erna. Like Erna and I are more like um more hyper energy and i said oh no this is gonna be fun having all these energies in, in this one zoom room uh because you have that calm relaxing mood and um so i'm loving this but yeah so thanks for yeah, being well, but yeah well if you want i can also fire up you know that's why that's the love <laughs> love can be calm and fire at the same time you know okay show so, us your fire side yeah show us your fire Sorry? side it's a fiery side well, of love. It's, yeah, well, the fire side of love is like this, knowing the strength of love. You know, that's the fire side of love. Love is like fire. You know, I, I, when I speak to people, I say I, I work with fire because I, I bring up the flame and fire is something that spreads. But it's not the fire that destroys you. It's the fire that heals you, that connects you. You know, so I'm the, I say I work with the fire of love. So that one is the strongest. Fire also purifies, huh? Oh, yeah. Does. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it's a process of purification, you know, mm -hmm. but just in a different way. Not yeah. A lot of people are not aware of that process. But yeah, love, love can bend, you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It yeah, bends so but doesn't break, huh? Yes, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't break. You have yes, a you choose cool to. work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yes. So um, how many do you have following you, Giovi? Sorry? How many do you have following you? How many people? How following? many? I, oh, well, I, as much as I'm, the more, how many people I know right now, just so, because uh, I'm quite, you know, I, my work is mainly on Facebook. That's how I connect in the online world. I have around, I think, 3,700 or 3,800 people right now following me. That's um, amazing. And yeah, and then also in plus, you know, all of the people in Tony Robbins' group. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I, I've been, um, my background is I used to actually run events, Tony Robbins style events and meetups back in London. So oh. that's what I used to do before, before we, before I found my journey as a, as a love guru. So I used to do that before. Uh, and I think, yeah, that has been really helpful in my journey, you know, because I, I won like two, I, I won like two prizes. One in the, it was, I think, Own Your Future Challenge. And then in this new challenge, Tony Robbins, I got, a, got another prize. And yeah, it's, it's beautiful. The, the community is so loving. And yeah, this is my home. So, Jovi, are you thinking of having your own live event someday? Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's that's on my list. Uh, I I used to do, like I said, I used to do live events. Yeah. But I didn't do it as a love guru. This, this, and it's that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, definitely doing getting into live events as well. So right now, in I'm in I'm in Portugal, Lisbon, uh, and I'm actually traveling right now. So I just have to find a base where, where I can do it. That's where I'm right now. Um, but definitely, yeah, that's that's what I want to do. That's I want to bring I want to bring people. I want to connect people. It's so important. Connection is the number one biggest thing. Yeah. Because if you cannot connect, you cannot love. No, right. true. Exactly. Well, that that is um, positivity for me, Joe, because um, I have. Well, Erna knows my hypnotherapist coach, and I have a hypnotherapist coach, and he says, "Ali, I just love the way you network, and I, mm -hmm. that's something I love to do. I just love connecting the dots to for people, and um, so that's good to know. I didn't know that was part of it, so that's awesome. Yes, yes. So, so we'll and keep an eye on you, Jovi. Yes, yes, sure. <laughs> please, <Yes>. please do. <laughs> <laughs> And we want to thank you again for being with us today and enjoy that wonderful place that you're at and uh, yeah. make sure you post some pictures and we'll be catching you on your Facebook 
lives or whatever yes. you're going to do. I'm, I'm following yeah. you, so I'll see what you got, you're, you got next for us. So it'll be exciting. Absolutely. Amazing. Thank you so much for, for having me here on the interview. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Ali. You're and welcome. thank you, everyone, for You're watching. You're welcome. It was good to have yes. you. Yes. Yes. So, thank you so much. Love back to the guru. <laughs> <laughs> thank Sending you so love. much. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Thank you.